In the golden age of Hollywood, there was an actress whose performances left a lasting impression on audiences. One of her most beloved movies, The Son of the Sheikh, still captures hearts around the globe today. Her role as Yasmin in the film showcased her talent and charm, earning praise from both critics and fans. She truly made her mark on the silver screen, leaving behind a memorable legacy. Do you have any fond memories or stories about this classic actor? Share them with us in the comments below, and stay tuned for more interesting facts about her life and career. During her era, this figure held a significant place in the world of film. Audiences were drawn to her talent and charm, which left a lasting impression on the industry. She was known for her captivating performances and striking beauty, making her one of the most celebrated actresses of the silent film period. Originally from Hungary, she started her acting career in Europe before moving to Hollywood in the 1920s. It was there that she truly thrived, starring in a series of successful films that showcased her versatility as an actress. Her ability to convey emotion without relying on dialogue resonated with audiences worldwide, cementing her status as a beloved icon of the silver screen. Throughout her career, she collaborated with renowned directors and actors, pushing the boundaries of silent cinema and leaving a significant impact on the industry. Her performances were not only captivating, but also groundbreaking, influencing the evolution of filmmaking during her time. Today, her contributions to cinema are celebrated by film enthusiasts globally. Her talent, beauty, and charisma made her a beloved figure both on and off the screen. We honor her extraordinary career and the enduring influence she had on the world of film. In the early 1930s, a well-known figure from the silent film era faced a challenge when transitioning to talking pictures. The initial attempt encountered sound issues due to a strong accent, leading to the end of the silent film career by 1933. Despite this setback, success was found in unexpected areas. For instance, surprising victories were achieved in the Women's Golfing Championship at the Wilshire Country Club in both 1950 and 1951. The transition from silent films to talkies marked a significant shift in the career trajectory. The challenges with sound technology highlighted the difficulties many actors encountered during that era. However, the obstacles didn't define the journey. Instead, new opportunities were embraced, showcasing versatility not just in acting, but also in unexpected fields like sports. The victories achieved on the golf course demonstrated determination and adaptability, proving that talents extended beyond the confines of Hollywood. Looking back, the story serves as a reminder of resilience and the ability to thrive in the face of adversity, inspiring generations. When she passed away, Vilma Bonke left behind a substantial estate. Together with her husband, she established a foundation aimed at educating children. Hollywood brought her in primarily for her physical beauty, billing her as the Hungarian Rhapsody. In the silent film era, fans were unaware that Bonke couldn't speak a word of English. This limitation became a hurdle when talkies gained popularity in the late 1920s, contributing to the decline of her stardom. Discovered by Samuel Goldwyn, Bonke initially spoke no English. Goldwyn taught her to respond to reporters' questions with the phrase lamb chops and pineapple. Her legacy includes a notable estate and a foundation for children's education. However, her inability to adapt to English dialogue in the era of talkies played a crucial role in fading her stardom. Once upon a time, there was an actor whose performances were unforgettable. They played many different characters in movies, showing their talent and charm. People loved watching them because they seemed so real on screen. They won lots of awards for their work, and everyone, including critics and fans, praised them. From big Hollywood events to smaller movie theaters, their talent was clear for all to see. Their story was like a really good movie, with lots of interesting parts about love, sadness, and success. People couldn't get enough of their performances, feeling like they were part of the story themselves. Even though time passed, their influence in the movie world never faded. They inspired lots of other actors and directors. Their name was a symbol of greatness in the movie business. This actor was really important in movies, and their work will always be remembered. Their performances will never get old. And as more people discover their movies, their star will keep shining in the movie world, showing how powerful stories can be. Arranged by their respective studios in hopes of reviving their fading careers, her marriage to fellow silent film star Rod LaRoque in 1927 was more of a publicity stunt. The wedding itself resembled a movie premiere, staged on a Hollywood soundstage, with guests seated in cheap seats and served papier mash chickens. Surprisingly, the marriage endured for nearly 50 years, concluding only with LaRoque's passing in 1969. Rudolph Valentino personally selected her as his leading lady for The Son of the Sheikh, his final film. 
Even after her film career waned, she remained active, indulging her passion for golf well into her 80s. In the late 1980s, a beloved Hollywood star fell ill, feeling neglected by the media and public alike. Surprisingly, news of the individual's death only emerged in late 1992 due to the lack of official acknowledgement during the illness. In the final film of a renowned actor, they chose a leading lady for a significant collaboration before their untimely departure. This movie marked a memorable moment in the legendary actor's career. The individual's wedding to another actor was a grand affair, funded by a well-known producer, and stood out as one of the most extravagant Hollywood parties at that time, adding a memorable chapter to their personal history. In the final years, they faced challenges in both health and public recognition, showcasing the complexities of a Hollywood career that spanned different eras. In 1927, a notable Hollywood union took place graced by influential figures from the film industry. The ceremony marked a significant moment in someone's personal life with well-known personalities like Samuel Goldwyn and Cecil B. DeMille playing important roles. Loella Parsons also had a significant role in the event. The wedding brought together key figures showcasing the intertwining of personal relationships and professional networks within Hollywood. It highlighted the individuals standing in the film community and the depth of their connections. The involvement of these notable figures hints at the recognition and respect the individual garnered within the film industry. Such alliances offer insight into their position and influence in the world of cinema. Shocking fact, she abruptly retired from acting at the height of her career, never to return to the silver screen again. Vilma Bonke, once a luminary of the silent film era, left audiences captivated with her performances. Born in Hungary, she journeyed to Hollywood where she found fame alongside stars like Rudolf Valentino. Despite her success, she chose to step away from acting unexpectedly. The decision shocked many, leaving fans wondering what could have prompted such a sudden exit. Some speculated about personal reasons, while others attributed it to changing tastes in the film industry. Whatever the reason, her departure left a void in the hearts of many admirers. And with her absence, a piece of cinema history seemed to fade away leaving behind only memories of what once was. In a surprising turn of events, it's revealed that she quietly disappeared from the limelight after marrying actor Rod LaRock in 1927. Despite her promising career and undeniable talent, Vilma Bonke chose to step away from Hollywood and live a life away from the public eye. This decision left her fans shocked and saddened as they had come to adore her on-screen presence. Despite attempts to return to acting later on, she never quite regained the same level of fame she once had. Instead, she lived a quiet life with her husband until her passing in 1991. It remains a tragic and unexpected twist in the story of a once prominent starlet, leaving many to wonder what might have been. In a rather somber twist of fate, Vilma Bonke, the renowned actress, faced a tragic reality after retiring from Hollywood. Despite her once glittering career, she found herself isolated and forgotten, living a reclusive life in obscurity. After bidding farewell to the silver screen, she retreated from the public eye, leaving behind the glamorous world of fame and fortune. Instead of basking in the adoration of fans, she endured a solitary existence, far removed from the spotlight she once commanded. The stark contrast between her on-screen persona and her off-screen reality serves as a poignant reminder of the fleeting nature of fame and the harsh realities that often accompany it. Despite her undeniable talent and charm, Vilma Bonke's later years were marked by loneliness and seclusion, painting a tragic picture of a once celebrated star fallen from grace. In a shocking turn of events, she vanished from the limelight after marrying actor Rod LaRock in 1927. Despite being at the peak of her career, her departure from Hollywood was swift and unexpected. Fans were left bewildered by her sudden exit, as she seemingly disappeared from the public eye without a trace. It remains one of the most surprising disappearances in the history of early cinema. Her decision to leave behind her flourishing career for a life of obscurity left many saddened by the loss of such a talented actress. The mystery surrounding her departure continues to intrigue film enthusiasts to this day.